Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But the reason why I came tonight is that there are so many things that I want to talk to you about. People of Zambia, youth of Zambia. There are many things that I want to talk to you about. Since uh, the, the cyber bully bill went through the parliament and Eddie Galungu signed it, I have never spoken about it. I've never talked about it. Many people are, we are consigned. Many people are crying. See, I want look at this. See, I want look at what the Galungu has done. See, I want look at the cyber thing has gone through and so on and so forth. I didn't speak about it. I was quiet about it. The reason why I was quiet was because I wanted some of the people that we are supporting it to be caught red-handed in it. You see, you are watching me right now. I don't know where you are watching me from. Maybe you are watching me from Zambia, from Nigeria, from Botswana. Bathing is a bathing. Anywhere you see bathing, call it bathing. Never ever in your life say bathing is good. Don't support evil. Don't support bathing. When they were busy creating and pushing for that bill to go through, there were people that were supporting it. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people were supporting it. People were happy about it. One of the people that were happy about it was my friend, Chilifia, Chilifia Tayali. People were so happy and excited, excited about the bill. I kept quiet because I wanted that bill to catch one of the people that supported it. That bill has caught Chilifia Tayali. It has caught him. Those of you that follow C1 that don't, you don't understand C1, you see C1 as one of the prophets that you know in Zambia, as one of the prophets that you know in Africa, you see C1 as one of those prophets. When I say something, you think that I'm joking. One thing that you will remember today is that few months ago, Edgar Lungu uh, uh, terminated the appointment of Chitalu Chilufia. People were happy. People we are celebrating. People we are clapping hand. Many people sent me a message to say, Papa, you have seen that Edgar Lunga has changed. Everybody was people were overjoyed. People, you know, people thought Edgar Lunga said, I came and I told you that Edgar Lungu can never fire anybody for corruption because Edgar Lungu is a corrupt human being. Edgar Lungu is a papa of corruption. He cannot fire anybody. And the people came to attack me. They came and attacked me on my post. They came and attacked me in boss. They said, see a one you don't appreciate. They said, see a one clap you. You know, give uh, give uh, honor to where honor is due. At least clap for Edgar Lungu for firing Chilifia Chitalu. I said Edgar Lungu did not fire Chitalu. I intercepted a phone call and the meeting that was held between Edgar Lungu and the uh, Chitalu Chilufia. In that meeting, they said, "You look, my brother, because of we are getting close to the election, sit down a bit. Immediately after the election, we are going to call you back. You will become a minister again. I told people, people said, see, one is a liar. See, one is joking. See, one is this. See, one is that. One thing you must know about see, one is that see, one is a very careless human being. If you want to die, you die. If if you want to kill yourself, you kill yourself. I don't care about anything. What I know is because I am done of power. Whatever I say will happen because I've seen it already in the spirit before it happens. We have worked it already in the spirit before it happens. I told you that Edgar Lung is corrupt. 
was same fat if you are looted from the Ministry of Health. He's sharing it with Edgar Lungu. So he cannot be fired. Many of you persecuted me. Many of you fought me. Many of you said, see one, you don't appreciate. Uh, see a one, see a one, you don't you, you, you see a one, uh, you don't you, you must you must thank Ed Galungo for firing to you. I said I cannot thank Ed Galungo for firing because he didn't fire him. Today, what I said did it happen? Are you not aware that 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 criminal that fool that man that crook Chitalu has now been readopted to contest as a member of parliament so that if they won election in August, he will be brought back now to finish Zambia completely. Tilifia Chitalu, I have a question for you, my brother. You don't have conscience. You have stolen more than more than you can handle. What is left for you to go and steal in, 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 in government? The little you have stolen, use invest it. Allow other people in PF to steal as well because you have stolen more than you can you can you can you, you can imagine. Even at Galungu, you know what? Why are you taking the people of Zambia for fools? You know, why are you taking people of Zambia for fools? The people that voted you in peace, the people that trusted you so much, the people that had high hopes in you. They are the people that you are treating like fools. I told you people that Eddie Galungu did not fire Chilifia Chitalu. Chilifia Chitalu that was supposed to be in prison as we are talking today. Chilifia Chitalu's case does not even need a lawyer. He doesn't need to go to court. It's an open case. Who awarded a contract worth 17 million US dollars to a non-existing honeybee? Chilifia Chitalu. What evidence do you need to send him to prison? What evidence do you need to send him to jail? Under Tilfia Chitalu, Minister of Health is now the den of corruption. What evidence do you need? Such a person is, is, is not even supposed to be close to a president. I told you people, you did not believe me. Those of you that follow me and you don't believe me, what are you waiting for? Everything I say, tell me one thing that I say that have never happened. Eh? Today, Tilifia Chitalu has been readopted. PF has adopted all the prostitutes in Zambia, all the slave queens in Zambia in the name of adopting the youths. Believe me, it's just that, oh, God is good. <laughs> <laughs> if not because of intervention of the spirit, if Eddie Galungu won the election, eh, in the next five years, Zambia will be Zambia will be will be it will be the, the, the most useless country in the whole world. I'm telling the gospel truth. Because look at look at look at look at the adoption. Look at the people that are going into parliament and they subsequently be appointed as ministers. Look at slave queens everywhere, thieves everywhere, crooks everywhere. Chilufi has been adopted. Aris has been adopted. The next thing, JJ Banda will be adopted. And so many of them, these guys are coming to destroy Zambia. Seriously. When I say something, you don't believe me. When I say something, eh, you don't believe me. Will you believe me when I told you that Chili Festival was not fired? It was a meeting. They had it. Actually, when I finished exposing them, I received a call from senior PF members of uh, senior PF, PF members. See, oh, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I don't want the people of Zambia to suffer again. Enough is enough. Did you believe me? You did not believe me. Maybe you have joined this broadcast. I want you to start sharing now. Share it everywhere. Share it everywhere. Start sharing. You are just joining. Start sharing. I want everyone to hear what I'm saying tonight. It's very, very important. Before I speak about Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali, this is the first time that I'm going to talk about him since I started my broadcast. Before I start talking about him, I want you to share it everywhere. Let everyone know that Sia One is talking. Let everyone know that Sia One is talking. And I'm talking what I know. Is there anything I told you that has never happened? 
We are only waiting for all gods to come for you to know that C1 is the dawn of power. Whatever I say happens. Everything I've told you has happened. Tell me what Chilufia Chitalu is going back to do in parliament after looting billions from Ministry of Health. What is he going to do? If he was fired for corruption, is he not supposed to be going to court? Eh? Is he not supposed to be gallivanting in the police cell? Eh? What is he doing as a member of parliament? Eh? I warned you, people of Zambia, you did not listen to me. To my friend Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali. It's a very good friend of mine, you know. I love him. Not because of anything. I just love him. <laughs> you, I, I may not agree with him on so many things. But when I look at him, I see somebody that has a bright future. Just that he needs to be patient with money. Money is good. But don't sell your birthright because of money. You can do any other thing that you want to make money, but don't sell your birthright because of money. Money is good. Money is powerful. Everybody wants money. Everybody needs money. But don't sell your birthright because of money. Just because of pieces of money. The people that are making money in PF, the criminals, the, 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 the cadres, the, they are making billions. You know, they don't even care. But when they give Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali just a little bit, a drop, if a, a, a bone remnant, he will start jumping up and down and start talking. When they were using you, Chilufia Tayali, when they were using you to attack a church, attack Chishimba Kambuiri, attack other innocent people in Zambia, I warned you. I remember that video is still on my page. Those of you that doubt C1, go and check it. I told you that I know PF. You don't know PF. I know PF. I know them spiritually. I know them physically. Everything about PF is written in my palm like this. That I don't need a spec to dictate. Was the way they are, they are, they are, they are planning to rig election, which I'm not going to expose. Majority of the people that are watching me are from PF. Anytime I say something, they they strategize, they change their strategy. So I have stopped hitting some of those things. I'm just waiting for them in August. We are going to see. But I know them. I know them like this in my palm. I hold them like this in my palm. I told you, Chilifia Tali. I, I said, PF is going to use you. And they are going to dump you. They will use you. There is nothing good about PF. It's the same thing I'm warning Chishimba Kambuiri. My brother, there is still time for you. Don't be too excited. <laughs> During the last election, it was like this. It was like this. They brought you in used you and dumped you election has come again they are bringing you in they are using you and they are bound to dump you and this time it's going to be tough for you when you call me i'm not going to listen to you i'm telling you the gospel truth i'm even going to insult you because i insult anyhow i want i don't have control i don't care about anything you call me you are going to call me to say, see, I look at what PF is doing. I'm going, I'm telling you, especially now that they are going to lose this election. You will see for yourself. I have never said anything that didn't happen. I want Chilufia Tayali. I said PF will use you like a tissue paper and dump you. I even went ahead and told him. I told uh, uh, I told Chishim, uh, 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 Tayali. I said there is a lot of people in PF. PF is filled with a lot of idiots. Like that other idiot in Kabwe, uh, Tutua, is a lawyer. If there is anything to persecute a church about, he should be the one in forefront doing that. Why is he quiet? He's quiet. There are so many lawyers. So many fake lawyers in PF. 
you know, like Eddie Galungu himself. There are so many of them that can be used to attack a church. Why are they all quiet and they are pushing you in front like a dog that a hunter has sent to go and check if there is something ahead? All of them were quiet and they took you and made you their dog. You back here, you back here. Because of PF, many people have hated you in Zambia. You have created a whole lot of enemies for yourself and you are still poor. You don't have money. The people that did not sacrifice for PF are rich. Idiots, criminals, and chances, opportunities in PF, they are all rich, but you are still poor. After they use you, because of you, they use you to kill uh, 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 Mr. Sama. They use you to kill Joseph. Because there is a lot of blood on your head because of PF. At the end of the day, look where they have pushed you. Edgar Lungu is a cold blood human being and it's a person that does not understand uh, he doesn't understand time if you understand time he will not use you and dump you today they are using Simon Simon is a nobody how many people follow him on Facebook there is no one there there is not, it's, it's nothing it's absolutely nothing when you see a Facebook page dealing with Zamtel and anything that has to do with government, it has been corrupted. But unfortunately, Simon is nothing. You are better. You are far better than Simon. Because politics is about number. It's not about English or, or integrity or what what. No, it's about number. And you, it was Tilufia Tayali who stood and made PF popular on Facebook. Of course. I said it when I was doing my broadcast. I said, Tilufia Taile was doing more work for PF than Antonia Mwanza and, uh, 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 and Sunday, Sunday Chanda. Because it was him. Whenever uh, uh, Taile is live, look at how many people that watch him. When he posts something, even when he attacks HH, look at how many people that follow him. They have used you. They have used your popularity. They have dumped you. Today, they are married to Simon. Simon is the one now covering whatever they are doing with few people that are watching him. PF is a very useless people. They don't understand numbers. They don't, they don't even understand anything. Who is following Simon? How many, when, he, when he's talking, how many people are listening to him? Eh? They have abandoned you. They have followed him. Have you waking up now? Hmm? Have you waking up? Have you waking up? Eh? Have you waking up? Have they finished using you? I just believe that after this, you wake up and stand up for what you are supposed to do. I am the one that registered your political party in Zambia because I believed in you. I knew, I, that time I knew that you stood for the truth. You stood for the people. You stood for the people that were oppressed. Along the line, PF corrupted you and you started supporting them in the Arabish. You supported them in the cyber bully bill. Today, where are you? The bill has gone through and it has affected you. It has gone through and it has affected you. The lion that you bought as a pet and was training and was grooming has grown up to eat your life. Chilufia, Chilufia, Tayali, when you come out, wherever you are, I want you to be a good citizen. Be a very good citizen. They have used you, they have dumped you, they have run to Simon. And they don't know that it was uh, it was uh, Chilufia Tayali that made PF popular on Facebook. What? The, who, was, who was going to Smart Ego to do what? which page on 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 facebook was actually having numbers when they are talking about pf it was only tulufia kayali that helped the pf to become popular on facebook it was it was tulufia kayali that helped pf to become what they are when you come to social media his, his, his posting alone carried more power than Eddie Galungu and any other PF pages but today they have used you they have dumped you they have gone to your friend that other one with big ass they have gone to him he's now, he's now their darling 
Anywhere the Galung is going, they call him, he follow them up and down like a fool, a grown up man. And, and, and if you come out, you don't wake up. If you come out, you don't wake up. You are a fool. It's better to die fighting for what is right than to live, than to live doing nothing. The youths of Zambia. I want to tell you something. I'm about to close. I want to tell you something. Every morning when I wake up, I go to a Zambian page. It's called Nkani. Nkani Zambia page. I go there. They usually post pictures of celebrities in Zambia. Some of the celebrities are ugly. Some of them are beautiful. I remember one day I was uh, in the bank. Then they posted one ugly celebrity. And I was laughing, and then uh, my security, uh, chief security, asked me, "See, I want, <laughs> why are you laughing like this in the bank, like a fool?" <laughs> I said, "Come and see this ugly girl. <laughs> Annie has posted one ugly girl." <laughs> my my chief security said, "No, no, no. See, for one, there is no, there is no human being that is ugly." <laughs> I said, "Don't be a fool. <laughs> what is the opposite of beauty?" He said this ugly. If there is beautiful people, there are ugly people. We cannot run away from the truth. If there are people that are ugly, there are, there are people that are beautiful. It's just like that. You can't run a, There is no way you can twist the story. There is ugly people, there are beautiful people. So this ugly girl was posted. I was laughing and, you know, this man, my chief secretary was was not happy he said you cannot call people ugly if you are ugly you're ugly there is nothing we can do about it i can't kill myself because of that you can't kill yourself because we can't change it that is between you and your god that created you the way he created you i you know that page each time they post something i can see that thousands upon thousands of zambian youths want to say something but because they are afraid of the bill, the cyber bullying bill that has gone through, they can't say it. <laughs> Anytime Edgar Lungu posts something, they want to comment something. They are afraid. They can't comment what they want to comment. Anytime Nkani posts something, they are afraid. They want to comment something, but they are afraid because of cyber bullying, uh, bullying bill that has gone through. There is fear among the youths in Zambia. People of Zambia are afraid of talking. They don't want to talk so that they don't go to prison. They don't want to talk so that they, they don't end up being locked up. It's not because they don't want to talk. Their freedom of talking has been taken away by Eddie Galung. Their joy of talking, even to joke, even to write a joke today, they are afraid. When Nkani posts something or Watchdog posts something or Kosue posts something, or any of these powerful pages in Zambia post something. People of Zambia are afraid to comment. Not because they don't want to comment. Life in Zambia among the youths in social media is become so, so boring. They can't even joke with their friends. I'm talking to the youths of Zambia. They can't even joke with their friends. They are afraid of talking because they, they know that when they talk, because of cyber bullying, they are going to be arrested. Now, I want to ask you a question, the youths of Zambia. For how long do you want to be afraid? Do you know that if you give Eddie Galungu another five years to rule you, it's another five years of fear? Is another five years of boring Facebook. You cannot joke with your friends. You cannot comment what you want to comment. You will always be afraid. 
do you still want to continue with this type of thing if you want freedom if you want to enjoy your life again if you want to enjoy social media like any other youth in any other country are enjoying today i'm not saying vote for a church no there are thousands of people going to ten thousand people that are watching me majority of you are youth the first thing you have to do tonight as i've spoken to you is to pick up your phone call your friends in the villages and tell them to vote out iniquity to vote out edigalungu if you are not if you see look at what is happening just before election they are arresting people up and down they are arresting people here and there today mobita nawa is in prison uh, 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 entirely i don't know if he's in prison or he's, uh, he's, he's somewhere else but wherever he is he's there because his freedom of expression has been taken away do you still want to continue like that <laughs> if you don't want to continue like that the power is not in the hand of Akain De Chilema the power is in your hand to not just to speak or to vote but to call your friends and let them know that time of change has come there is no country in the world where you don't have freedom to express yourself in Nigeria, even the wife of the president criticizes the president and goes scot free. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.